రెస్పెక్టెడ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ డాక్టర్ ఆర్ వి కృష్ణయ్య గారు ఆనరబుల్ డిరెక్టర్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఎన్ వెంకట్రావు గారు కోఆర్డినేటర్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ మిస్టర్ బి వి సుబ్బయ్య గారు అండ్ ఆల్ ది పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ వేరియస్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ అక్రాస్ ద కంట్రీ ఎ వార్మ్ అండ్ గ్రేస్ఫుల్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఐ దీ మిత్ గ్రేట్ ప్రివిలేజ్ టు వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ టు దిస్ వెబినార్ on intellectual property and innovation management for startups and msmes which is being organized by the institution innovation council of chebrol engineering college in association with nrdc we extend our heartfelt thanks to our organizing committee for their relentless efforts in organizing this program we would like to express our deep sense of gratitude to dr bk sahu for accepting our invitation to be the keynote speaker of this webinar his expertise is of great value to all of us we are sure that all the participants will have a very stimulating and exuberant session ahead i deem it great honor to present the profile of our keynote speaker dr vijay kumar sahu dr sahu earned his mphil and later on he was conferred a doctorate from jawaharlal nehru university new delhi with specialization in intellectual property rights medical biotechnology and technological capabilities with special reference to india currently dr sahu is heading nrdc ministry of msme intellectual property facilitation center and united nations world intellectual property organization technology and innovation support center at visakhapatnam nrdc government of india recently dr sahu was conferred global ip convention award by gipc during 12th global ip convention at vigyan bhavan for the promotion of ip in india and abroad he was also the recipient of premeya pratibha sammana for the year 2020 in odisha he was considered as one of the 100 most influential ip leaders from india by world ip forum for the year 2017 dr sahu also plays key mentoring role in india's largest incubation center in asian subcontinent in biomedical devices at bio valley medi valley and innovation valley he was invited as a keynote speaker for the united nations unesco edtech 2018 on ip and innovation in educational curriculum dr sahu has facilitated a few hundred patents and ip of various universities and also transferred and commercialized many large scale technologies to msmes and industries He is also associated with advising on IP and innovation management for various organizations of the government of India like DRDO, Indian Ordinance Factory Board, ONGC, IOCL, BEML, NALCO, BEL, Hindustan Shipyard, NTPC, Kalam Institute of Health Technology, Andhra Pradesh Innovation Society, Government of AP and many more public sector undertakings and universities. Dr. Sahu has been mentoring various incubation centers across the country and many startups led by young entrepreneurs and also helping them in ip protection technology networking and seed funding he has also coordinated a government of india task force study on innovation policies in china korea and taiwan implication for india and visited many countries he is also the guest faculty and resource person at various national institutes like indian institute of public administration entrepreneurship development institute of india ahmedabad sri sri university bitam university kiit university indian institute of foreign trade bopt training for senior ias officers government of india etc he is the fountain head of knowledge and delivered a number of lectures on patent information he is a part of various innovation and ipr committees of many universities and academia in the country including many central universities like jnu delhi university cu etc we are really fortunate to have such a towering personality as the keynote speaker for this workshop may i now humbly welcome dr bk sahu to share his knowledge and inspire the participants it's over to you sir thank you dr vasumathi for your kind words uh, good morning all of you and uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity for speaking the topic on intellectual property and innovation management for startup and msme and uh, in fact my special reference will be the covid 19 the one of the biggest challenge right now the whole human community is is facing and uh, mitigating the challenge so i am grateful to all of you for your invitation and also 
I would like to pray God for your good health, prosperity at this challenging time. And uh, I think I have uh, for 30, 40 minutes to speak. But I came with a presentation. I think uh, you are able to see my screen. Yes, sir. It is visible, sir. Okay, great. So already Dr. Basumati has already uh, briefed about me and my organization and uh, our role. And today in the knowledge economy, uh, the biggest role is collaboration, cooperation, and connect uh, connectivity. So as far as uh, this intellectual property and innovation is concerned, uh, we are in a challenging situation uh, because the biggest or the second largest populated country in the world as far as at present juncture, we are importing many of the PPE kits, masks from various countries. So that is the issues today. We are not able to create a sustainable innovation system to come out with our own process and product to mitigate our own risk at our own place. So that kind of ecosystem we must have to develop in an institutional level, in a state level, ultimately that will impact to the national growth and national economy. So for, for manufacturing any product, we need a new idea. You need a new process and product. And ultimately we must have to protect that product because that is our creativity. That is the creativity of a human and your the person who is working from his research and development has the right to protect because that is his creativity. That is his hard work. So at this, at this time also, I'd like to apprise you why I will protect. Since we are part of the WTO of the TRIPS clause, trade related aspect of intellectual property rights, under the TRIPS, any process and product from our research and development, our new invention must be protected in the WTO norm. And we have, we could not protect in the case of Haldi, Neem and Basmati. You might be knowing the Haldi was patented in one of the uh, university in the US and India fought that case in the US PTO. And finally we own that case. So intellectual property must be protected. If we are not going to protect, we have seen in the case of Haldi, we have seen in the case of Basmati rice. So at this juncture, we must have to protect our indigenous product, indigenous process. And that is the dream of Mahatma Gandhi to uh, come out with the innovative product and the Swadeshi product. We must not depend on import on technology. And let me tell you, my dear friend, our import on technology is very, very high. Prime Minister of India in recent time at Indian Science Congress requested the scientists to innovate, patent, produce and prosper. So we must have to innovate at our own place because we are the largest, I think in, 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 the, in, in the world, we are the second largest technical manpower we are having and uh, we are giving the largest manpower to the knowledge society today. So Albert Einstein once told, imagination is more important than knowledge. We need imagination and we need skill set. We have, I think, 11,000 engineering colleges in the country. We have around 900 university in the country. But have you seen any process and product, any universities coming out related to COVID? We are talking about Oxford. We are talking about many other foreign universities, but we are not talking about our university to come out some, some process and product for tracing, treating, and testing of this COVID-19. So that is very, very important today. And if we are coming, we must protect it because that is our creativity and creation of the society, creation of the people, creation of the inventor, creation of the, uh, the person who is working on that. And that can be protected as a patent, trademark, design, copyright, 
geographical indication of goods. Abraham Lincoln once told, the patent system added the fuel of the interest to the fire of genus. So in this 30, 40 minute we'll discuss and anyone who have the question also, I look forward to discuss with you. We have Make in India, Startup India and Digital India and Innovate India. Taxic program is going on in the country. And government has created many institutional ecosystem to promote startup and make in, uh, make in India. And we need to come out with many new invention, new idea to mitigate the challenges. Under the sustainable development goal also, all the parameter has been kept so that we must not face any poverty, hunger, access to health in, fu in future. So sustainable, we must have to uh, come out with the policy to mitigate or to uh, fulfill the sustainable development goal of United Nations. So friends, navigation, the new business in the world, our future is foggy. Any startup, any MSME is coming out with a new process and product to the market. So what will be the product in the market, he may not know it. And the future is also foggy about his process and product commercialization. So for a startup and MSME, for an entrepreneur, must look to protect the intangible asset. There are two types of asset today, tangible and intangible asset, and intellectual property has considered as one of the intangible asset. We may lost our house, we may lost our car, but intangible asset, the intellectual property will be with us till the death and after the death also. So intangible, uh, since you might have known, many of the corporate software companies, they believe on intellectual property as copyright, patent, trademark. Trademark is the brand value of the company. So in this decade of innovation, government has committed many of the uh, institutional ecosystem trying to develop the national innovation system in an excellent way connected to the regional and industrial innovation system. And many opportunities are there for research and development, many department, department of biotechnology, department of IT, uh, other government department like DRDO, ICMR, CSR, all have extramural research for the research funding. And there is a concrete SNT cooperation is going on with various national organization and in our national plan under this decade of innovation. And under this decade of innovation, we have Atal Innovation Mission, MSRD Innovation Cell. Many of the department in recent, uh, has come out with a new, new policy, new institutional ecosystem and funding pattern. In fact, in the Startup India mission is there, 10,000 for uh, funding. So priority is there and how we can leap from the uh, uh, the uh, from our publication mindset because today our research is publication but we must not publish we come out with some sol solving to a valid problem at our own level and that may be a new patent and industrial applicability for your idea then only you can publish that so we need today patent because for innovation Patent is very, very important because patent has been considered as the one of the innovation ind indicator in the knowledge economy. So we have national innovation and startup policy of government of India of MSRD. Very categorically, you might have known there is an institutional innovation council where we can leverage, inculcate the idea from the creativity of the student, faculty and once also we can incubate that idea to make the new process and product for the national uh, growth of the country. We have national intellectual property policy, what we are talking about creative India and innovative India. Anyone, any faculties from Cherul Engineering College or across the country who have the idea, protect the patent. Because if you don't have the uh, fund for the filing the patent, we are going to protect your patent free of cost your patent, your copyright, your design freely will facilitate and also bear the cost for filing the patent. At the same time, once we file the patent, we also commercialize that patent for the growth 
or the to the industry so that industry will come out with a new process and product for the society so friends innovation and patent is very very uh, uh, correlated because when we talked about technological innovation patent has been considered as under the patent act of 1970 of government of india that any invention having industrial applicability and newness and inventive step has set to be the patent or can be patentable so there are various form of intellectual property one is patent trademark design copyright semiconductor integrated layout design plant varieties of protection right copyright your software can be protected as a copyright software embedded with hardware is can be protected as a copyright uh, sorry uh, patent so these are the these are the regulation these are the standard we have to protect our idea and that idea is the original idea or new idea or aesthetic appearance of appearance of any goods and product so these are the innovation we are talking about in the knowledge economy we have a, so we have the startup india mission more than 20, i mean 20 lakh startup has been registered in the dpiit we have a startup ecosystem for leveraging the protection of intellectual property to free of cost to the startup we are doing that at visakhapatnam many of the startup uh, in our, from the andhra pradesh those who are incubated here at visakhapatnam across the country also we are helping them filing their freely their patent trademark design copyright there is no financial liability that is the one of the best opportunity we are giving to the people as a government of india organization at the same time any startup or anyone who looks for a new technology also they can contact us because we have the largest national labs of csir icmr and also they are do lot of technology they are coming and that technology we can license you and you can manufacture the new product and process in the market and uh, the people will get the benefit and we can certainly strengthen the uh, uh, start of india mission uh, of the government of india so we must protect and if you are not protecting our ip that means we are not giving value to the originality and ownership of the creator because that is the one of the challenge today we must believe on original and if we are doing any piracy or you know counterfeiting this is the biggest challenge today for a country like india because india has been kept a priority watch list by the us department of commerce called special 301 provision those country who violate intellectual property and in recent time you might have heard many of the vice chancellor of various university caught in infringing right or the ip copyright and plagiarism and many of the issues came for the institutional level how institution is not promoting innovation and not making them kind of ecosystem because government has already established a policy national startup and innovation policy under institutional innovation council the, the way you organize this program so that that will give the opportunity to a institute to uh, make the lead in in national arena because that is the need of the hour so under the startup india program we have a startup intellectual property protection scheme is there to make ip protection strategy for imperative for the startup and awareness of intellectual property is very very important for the startup let me tell you because startup must know to protect their intangible asset before jumping to their business in the market because intangible asset protection is very very important so this is uh, one of the peak i thought i should share with you recently we transfer one of the technology to one of the company at the chennai and that company is now coming out uh, with a uh, corona detection kit sai by electro by genetic india that means somebody has patented it we transfer this technology to this startup and this startup is giving product to the country so people are getting benefit by getting the indigenous product the country is getting benefit uh, because it's a indigenous product and the inventor who have developed has the patent get the royalty because if there is a commercialization of that product in the market so friends you might have seen one of the movie uh, three idiots there is a beautiful uh, 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 example of uh, of uh, the knowledge creation knowledge protection and knowledge information of a uh, 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 student and uh, the two characters you might have seen one is chaturamalingam who came all the way to get the patent from punsung wagru 
so that is a beautiful uh, uh, story of that movie in the same movie also there is a story uh, there is a issues that raj kumar hirani versus chetan bhagat because the story concept was uh, owned by copyright owned by chetan bhagat but his name was not there in the movie there was a debate of debate on that part so protection of copyright protection of patent is very very important that will give the value to a person who are the creator in the knowledge society there is a beautiful movie mission mangalayan and uh, you might have watched that movie that movie movies also uh, has uh, given a lot of story and lot of information about affordable accessible and adaptable innovation in fact they have uh, used many uh, good concept making the plastic tie uh, plastic waste to the uh, uh, for the use of uh, uh, propulsion uh, launching they have used it so the story itself give a innovativeness in our mind and build the capacity and also confident and uh, how a woman can also lead a institution and uh, we have uh, many scheme of government of india you might be knowing uh, department of science and technology has a scheme of women scientist and uh, that uh, now government of india has talked nari to narayani program that means we can build the capacity of a woman uh, uh, as a women scientist who can work on intellectual property and innovation in in the knowledge era so this is my office uh, uh, information i thought i should share with the role is to sensitize r and d institution and industry on technology commercialization this is that is the mandate of my organization as far as national research development corporation of ministry of science and technology government of india is concerned we try to connect the lab and uh, industry with each other connecting lab to the land so that product which goes to the people and people can access and avail and adapt the new technology or indigenous technology in in the country in fact mhd innovation cell has also a very uh, promptly working on this promoting uh, innovation and startup policy innovation networking now the many session and uh, on innovation and ipr and uh, entrepreneurship they are uh, running but at the same time this is the institutional ecosystem created by the government of india but we must have to participate in a great way and we must look into the original concept and original work how we can uh, leverage and that can come out with a new product and we must create a incubation cell at our institution so that that institution incubation cell will play a ornamental role in the knowledge society and that will beautify the institution by uh, uh, getting the all the idea from the student faculties and at the same time that new pattern new process uh, innovation can go to the uh, um, translate to the uh, industry and the creator the patent owner the student or the faculty will get the opportunity of benefit sharing mechanism from the tangible asset generated from the licensing of the te te technology know how or patent so that is the role of institutional innovation council at institutional level established by uh, mhrd innovation council uh, in fact uh, you can file a patent online we have controller general of patent trademark and design under department of industrial policy and promotion or the department of promotion of industry and internal trade of under ministry of commerce you can file your patent you can protect your design you can register your trademark you can register the geographical indication of goods like patampali kat banarasi sari kullu sal agra ka petha guntur chili so these are the product originated from a particular place particular quality particular flavor is there and we must protect and brand it as a gi product so that we can get the export uh, competitive business ma market is from in the europe i mean in the international market and we will get the royalty out of it and all these right are patent trademark design copyright all are your individual right somebody from uh, cherulu engineering college a filed a patent that is his patent but the engineering college will be the patent because he work with that engineering college and file the patent and he has used the infrastructure he will be the inventor but engineering college will be the patent and there is a commercialization of that patent ultimately there will be a benefit benefit sharing between uh, the engineering college and the faculty so friends now this year uh, we had a uh, 26th april was the world ip day and the theme was innovation for a green future we have many mechanism uh, i sit at visakhapatnam and uh, i also look after uh, world intellectual property organization uh, 
technology innovation support center so to give information about innovation technology patenting patent facilitation ip capacity building to across the stakeholder of the knowledge economy from academia industry and government so that is my role at uh, at this uh, place at uh, uh, southern part of uh, the country at the uh, city of destiny visakhapatnam i sit you can also come and visit my office and uh, if you organize any workshop and seminar and also organize any kind of training program we can help you and also if you want to protect any patent trademark design copyright we will freely no financial liability from you we can protect in your name and in your institution name in fact for the covid 19 recent we asked many idea and proposal lab scale proposal from various uh, 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 people of the country so that we can come out so that people can access and avail this uh, technology or msme and startup can also manufacture that product in the country so friends when we talked about innovation where india stand in the globally and what is the position of india rank in the, the global innovation index it is very very important and we must know that as a as a uh, professor as a uh, knowledge worker in the knowledge society I, I let me tell you we are now 52 ranks globally in the global innovation index in innovation in asia in fact we are much more behind if we we'll compare with china korea and uh, in fact uh, 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 Sing uh, singapore uh, uh, sorry china so and also even uh, 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 the innovation index particularly in india we are very very poor in term of intellectual property protection in india so friends i thought i should share with you one slide that slide will give you how there is a paradigm shift of innovation or the protection of intellectual property globally in 2005 china was number 10 in filing the patent international level today china is number 1 in the year 2019 china is ahead than us and japan in international patent application by one so what is this patent we are talking about patent is nothing but the innovation technological innovation created by that country and that is a the monopoly they have taken and now they are leading the world in term of manufacturing sector so that kind of uh, that kind of ecosystem we must have to develop and that is the need of the hour when we are talking about covid 19 so innovation plays a very long term health of a organization for a state and for a country and uh, we must enhance and uh, create the healthy root system to flourishing that innovation ecosystem and we must leverage the creativity invention many software we are developing but we are not protecting our software and we have been uh, blamed that uh, we are um, uh, doing the piracy we must come out the uh, knowledge skill set is very very important how we can build the skill of a student so that uh, that student will be demand driven in the market economy we need to develop that kind of skill skill set today that is very very important and in fact the patent is very important for a country like india and let me tell you our patent application in india is less than 50000 uh, 50000 patent every year but if you compare with china korea or the us china file more than 7 lakhs patent every year us file more than 5 lakhs patent every year but in 50000 patent application what uh, was filed in india only 30% are indian are filing and the rest are multinational corporation are filing the patent that means they are taking the monopoly here in india and having that right so intellectual property is the biggest challenge when we are talking about industry 4.0 iod blockchain now cryptocurrency people are talking about and intellectual property certainly plays a very important role for funding for research and development and imitation because imitation has created such a blame game that uh, it, it is very difficult for a country to uh, Uh, mitigate or channelize the bilateral cooperation with the country and many of our bilateral cooperation with many of the developed country are facing in difficulty particularly on imitation and infringement and the uh, public and private sector research let me tell you my dear friend 70% research more than 70% research are invested from the government of india 
or the government sector and less than 20% or less than 19% comes from private sector because private sector do not want to do the research in India. Sahu sir, are you there? Sahu sir. I think there is some uh, network issue for our speaker, sir, Sahu sir. So be patient. Uh, we are calling and we will we are working on it Welcome back, Sahu, sir. Uh, yeah, there is a problem in electricity. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, yeah, you know, there was a uh, two days back, there was a biggest uh, HPCL gas tragedy also. Yeah, 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 sir. No problem. I'm extremely sorry because uh, this is not in my hand. So, okay. Uh, okay can we, uh, the, my PPT is uh, able to see? Yeah, it is visible, sir. It is visible. You can start, you can proceed. Okay. So we must have to uh, solve our own uh, problem at our own level because we are the largest I mean, technical manpower in the country. And uh, we have uh, the very cu uh, curious engineering student. 
so let's we should give uh, them a skill set to solve the problem and uh, we can make the new process and product and also then can we can uh, protect as a pattern and we can publish it so the benefit of intellectual property today is you can spin out you can co develop and uh, even because that uh, you know national startup uh, and innovation policy came out a faculty can be uh, establish a startup and if you can also license to any of the companies you can collateralize and you can securitize and also you can sell and lease back your intellectual property what you have created so that is the opportunity in fact in the recent time we have organized one industry academy meet to improve the quality of the academics today and uh, the quality today is nothing but the originality and skill set at our institutional level that is very very important how we are uh, making the difference to the student and student when going to the abroad or any different city how they are mitigating themselves and uh, uh, the challenge they are getting or the opportunity they are exploring that is very very important today let me tell you one uh, give you one best example recently we transfer one of the uh, technology related to recycling of plastic waste to tile and this technology you know plastic waste is the biggest challenge for the country today so how we can transfer that is also a mechanism we have and we have transferred to uh, to in 11 state we transfer to 11 entrepreneur and startup now this startup are leading the nation by recycling this plastic waste and making them like this tile and that tile is using at floor making or in in many of the places and uh, and uh, many of the municipality using it in uh, floor uh, in various park in their respective area so this is the innovation we are talking about and uh, and let me tell you why you are going to protect your right because under our 27 uh, uh, article 27 of the universal declaration of human right you have the right or everyone has the right to protect the literary or material interest resulting from the scientific work and you have the right also to share the scientific advancement for the benefit of the society so what is that intellectual property we are talking about intellectual property is refers to the creation of the mind of invention literary work artistic work symbol name image design used in commerce any any logo any let me tell you any new process so listen to me uh, just one example i would like to tell you uh, there is a small process somebody has developed that is uh, the uh, cigarette filter in cigarette filter what uh, the inventor has done that uh, in that cigarette it blocks Uh, the process what he has developed is it block nicotine which is carcinogenic in nature and that cigarette filter is uh, i mean you know uh, the market of cigarette uh, companies in the uh, in and the in the in india and the world so that technology is useful for a cigarette uh, making company that can block the nicotine which is carcinogenic in nature so see the small idea small process make the difference to the people so as i told you patent can be for new invention copyright for literary work artistic work copyright uh, uh, your software and trademark is for the distinguished product identification and product services like lic bharatiya jeevan bima nigam any logo of coca cola logo or whatever the logo we are seeing that is nothing but the trademark integrated circuit layout design design of the topography geographical indication of goods like unique characteristic of any product like odisha rasgulla bengal rasgulla uh, um, uh, tirupati laddu and confidential information is nothing but the trade secret trade secret you know coca cola formulation is protected as a trade secret so these all are the overview of intellectual property and all different kind of ipr in our uh, that plays a very important role in our knowledge economy and it is a legal right and the right you will get for a limited period of time and territorial in nature you have a patent in india you have the right in india you don't have the right in us or germany so for that you can also protect your right in that country to get a monopoly product penetration to their market so patent is nothing but the legal and monopoly right given uh, limited for a period of time you will get a patent right for 20 years for any product and process and you can give exclusive right to Uh, a num for a year to produce or manufacture the product in the market and at the same time that is the supremacy in the field of your invention of your sector in the knowledge society that you have three patent that means you have done something uh, in your area 
and that pattern has a, a critical component of uh, component of industrial applicability and any industry can collaborate with you so that is the role of university or the institution to create a value creation in the market by coming out with a new process new patent new product so that people will recognize that institution in a great way so why you are going for a patent a patent is nothing but the source of recognition of the inventor and it will help uh, in the incentive to develop a commercial product to license to an existing company and you can also start a new startup company and and the most important is it protects against the imitators today the imitation rate the way it's going up it will be the biggest challenge for, uh, in the next decades if we are not able to uh, mitigate this challenge as per the imitation or piracy or the pirate uh, spurious product selling in the market is concerned so what can be patented any process apparatus device machine chemicals drug and food their uh, food food and their composition biological process with human intervention biological product can be patentable this is at my office many of the startup has been incubated and uh, those startup who have create the value in, not only in uh, andhra pradesh they have created the value across the world and also at, uh, in the country and these are the two startup uh, this is ali azgar who has developed a robo boat that can save to the people who are uh, drowning in the water boat he got around 2 crore rupees defense innovation challenge fund this is uh, prasad babu who has also a startup he is also a iit kanpur product he has developed uh, a pro uh, process of mitigation of environmental ge geoclimatic uh, condition and forecasting of weather uh, model and he got uh, around 2 crore rupees from uh, gel uh, and also the the point of what i am uh, telling is that these people have created some kind of job opportunity at uh, at the regional level and people are getting the opportunity and the the country is also getting the benefit of this this uh, leader role in a great way because the indigenous in innovation they are giving uh, to the country araku valley coffee recently protected a geographical indication of goods that means gi is a different kind of intellectual property like patent and copyright and trademark gi is a community right araku valley coffee the the farmer the um, uh, the corporation or uh, society has the right like tirupati laddu uh the uh, tirupati laddu is also you know protected geographical indication of goods so the the product is originated from a particular place particular quality particular brand and also test and that we must have to protect the gi odisha rasogola uh, i already talked about how department of science and technology uh, uh, creating a ecosystem created a ecosystem to build a capacity of women uh, who are in science background can be women scientist every year government of india recruit and also they work in various department of government of india corporate private sector and also they themselves uh, establish a startup to protect the intellectual property and also give the service of intellectual property protection to various uh, college engineering college and uh, uh, corporate so intellectual property also gives a uh, new product we can give to the women and how women can be a techno entrepreneurship that is very very important and that's it also plays a very important role at a grassroots at grassroots level so that new innovation must go to the people of new india or the uh, grassroots india where uh, the the people can access avail and adapt so there is a paradigm shift to innovation without innovation we are not going to mitigate any risk because we need a manufacturing based industry and that is the objective of mac in india today for what we are talking about so intellectual property plays a very important role in academia and industry because academia is a place of knowledge and uh, we worship a lord uh, goddess uh, saraswati as a knowledge and also uh, industry is nothing but the place of uh, lakshmi so we uh, in our intellectual property plays a very uh, catalytic role uh, to bridge between uh, academia and industry and intellectual property is must if we want to sustain in the knowledge economy this is one of the process developed on uh, on low cholesterol ghee we patented it because the person who have developed from his research work that is his creativity that is his invention we must respect and that uh, invention we transfer to one of the company called quality diary and the low cholesterol ghee is there is a less cholesterol uh, 
uh, from uh, the existing ghee they have extracted and the product is in the market and anyone can uh, eat this ghee who have also a cholesterol problem they can, this uh, that kind of people can also eat so these are the top 10 uh, uh, indian institute who are top 10 list in intellectual property protection in the country and there must be a intellectual property and innovation cell or incubation cell in the university or institution to help and also to review and monitor the publication student thesis books by faculty research project uh, and also there must be a intellectual property policy ip policy in the institution so that that uh, will be the bible of that institution so everyone will respect from management to student will respect that ip policy on ownership of the creativity what the student faculty has developed time to time and also the uh, the cell must uh, also play important role in scouting of r and d collaboration with the industry startup and because you might be knowing in my next slide you will be able to see how many iits are now collaborating with various startup and that startup today given a lot of uh, pro product and process in mitigating the covid 19 so that is the role of institution and collaboration particularly in the uh, uh, startup india and make in india uh, uh, mission and also it, it will help in technology transfer to the industry and ultimately the institution will create a ip portfolio that ip portfolio beautify the institution in a great way the way i talked about top 10 institution who file the patent and at the same time you can also incubate your process and your idea at your incubation cell and that will make uh, a give a opportunity or give a plant to flourish in the market and uh, that plant will certainly give you the fruit and where you will get uh, so the ip policy should promote and that will facilitate and provide incentive to innovator any scientist any professor any student has developed they will get and also that will create a ecosystem and ip savvy institution in the country and you can showcase your aria ranking or institute uh, nac ranking about your innovation in the uh, knowledge society you also there is a chance of getting contract research sponsored research collaborative research and grant in that research project if you manage the intellectual property and that intellectual property is nothing but the ownership of your creativity of your research work what you have developed and that is nothing but the innovation you are creating from this kind of research project what you are handling today so intellectual and also there is a benefit sharing of intellectual property you have developed some patent and there is a commercialization how much percentage of benefit you will get as a inventor so that should be the uh, that should be written in the ip policy so that everyone will respect and uh, there should not be any bureaucratic on that decision making this is one of the technology i told you a uh, cigarette filter activated charcoal filter for reducing uh, p benzoquinone from uh, cigarette smoke developed by one of the professor it, he was patented and he had a a funding uh, from csir and we commercialized that patent and the university got lump sum premium around crores rupees and every years also the university will get the royalty and university also share the royalty with the inventor who have developed so this is the ip commercialization from the university or the institutional level what we do i told you we help any individual inventor any professor any scientist any faculty any startup for protecting their intellectual property to do the market survey dpr and also finally we license that technology to the industry and connect the dot between lab to the land that is my role in the knowledge economy so from ideas to product we play a very important role and uh, we help to all the stakeholder uh, in the country now we are talking about ip issues in blockchain at cryptocurrency and who will own the intellectual property because there is a synergistic uh, collaboration from various department organization and where i intellectual property plays a very important role and this is some of the people who have developed a new idea and they were awarded from andhra pradesh only uh, got who got national society of innovation award at vigyan bhavan this student has developed a beautiful uh, idea that is nothing but the uh, the uh, product in term of product it is a pole pole climber and for that he got a uh, national societal innovation awards and we also time to time guides 
all the startup in the country to protect their ip and also channelize them for funding uh, angel funding and and also uh, other regulatory approvals as a government of india agency and time to time we organize the capacity building program for the faculty student and uh, 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 of the various university in in the region so we transfer many technology and in recent time from the lab to land where the company like lnt is manufacturing this uh, technology called remote operated deep water vehicle uh, for and also bell and uh, people are getting opportunity because new manufacturing is coming new engineer will be hired and they will do the need food in the country so these are some of the technology in recent time we transfer this is at innovation valley i uh, sit at uh, visakhapatnam you are most welcome to visit my office and discuss with me so in a recent time uh, in visakhapatnam there is a medtech valley they have come out with a uh, corona testing kits within 35 days of their conceptualization to product and the product has launched by one of the uh, mold biotech uh, diagnostic biotech limited at uh, at visakhapatnam and product is available this is one of the uh, uh, startup who came out the uh, uh, automatic uh, fire extinguisher suppose if you are not in the office and or at your college there is a fire this will douse the fire and this is the young chap who developed and along with uh, uh, his partner came to my office and today this is one of the best i mean uh, startup consider in the country how Uh, we can come up with a new idea, and that idea ultimately create the value in the society. Many of the uh, institution like IIT, along with many startup, they have uh, come out with the corona oven that will uh, help in surface transmission, surface to human transmission of the COVID-19 in recent time. And there is a product they have developed, and they have the ownership because they have patented it, they have protected the design of it, and also they have uh, uh, made uh, uh, the trademark. in the name of corona oven so this is the brand of this company called log log9 who is incubating at iit roorkee so this is the innovation and uh, these are the product innovation uh, developed by many institution and like smart uh, smart stethoscope developed by iit bombay food control uh, 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 this uh, water tap uh, developed by our csir csio chandigarh iit delhi in recent time developed a pcr based diagnostic assay for covid 19 so many universities are working to uh, mitigate the challenge on covid 19 and they have also filed the patent and now the process we are uh, the medicine or the drug testing is going on and we are looking for that and uh, in recent time we came out with a compendium of uh, covid 19 technology related to testing tracing and test uh, uh, um, uh, in the country and anyone can talk to me to get this kind of technology so that we can uh transfer to any startup on tracing treating and testing technology on covid 19 and we can also support and we can also give the uh, 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 support of uh, all kind of intellectual property and funding support so friends uh, at last i'll just like to tell you the problem is never how to get a new innovative thought into our mind but how to get the old one out that is very very important so lastly any question because uh, i'm uh, i think you have given uh, one hour time and now 12 o'clock so i am looking for what your question so that we can discuss and strengthen our cooperation and collaboration and uh, connecting with each other and uh, hopefully we'll make the difference uh, in in our services thank you all of you god bless you jai hind so before we conclude i would like to introduce the principal of chebrol engineering college dr r v krishnaya garu dr r v krishnaya garu is a multifaceted personality with double m tech one in ece from nit warangal and the other one in csc from jntu hyderabad he was awarded a doctorate in ece from jntu anantapur he is a man of distinct vision a prolific scholar and a renowned academician he has more than 150 publications in national and international journals he has organized and attended several conferences and workshops he served in various capacities at many engineering colleges for over two decades he works relentlessly for the development of this institution he keeps motivating the students as well as the faculty to dream big and come up with novel and innovative ideas in their respective fields his recent academic and co curricular initiatives helped our college win many accolades 
May I now humbly request our principal to say a few words on this occasion. Krishna, yes, sir, it's over to you. Yeah, ma'am. One second. Is it audible, Dinesh? Yes, sir, yes, sir. you are audible, sir. Sir, you are audible, sir. Thank you, Saugaru. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. <laughs> we are very happy by taking uh, your seminar, uh, webinar. It is uh, the recent topic uh, which is required for all the staff also. Yes. Because many people don't know what is IP and all those things and uh, how to get the idea and how to implement it. So we are very thankful for uh, taking this uh, lecture for our, st for our staff and uh, college staff also. And uh, la last before year, uh, we got five patents, sir. Oh, great. Sir, mm -hmm. can you, uh, if any of, uh, one of your faculty wanted to file a patent, you also uh, ask them to uh, come to visit my office. Okay, and okay, we sir. will do free service because that is our mandate. Yes, yes, sir. I, I know that. I, I know that. But uh, we are planning for COVID also. We have two concepts. Hmm. Mm, that also I will uh, discuss with you later. Sure, sure. Mm. And uh, if uh, here most of the staff are uh, very familiar with the papers, research papers. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm, they will go through the papers and they will get some idea that merits or demerits and uh, any gap, etc. They will try to uh, come with a different uh, proposal or different paper that they are doing it. But many staff members don't know how to get an idea. Yes. You suggest some tips for it for Sir, our staff. Uh, yes, I, I I certainly agree with you. We go to each university and institution to do that kind of capacity building because uh, as a national organization, we have. Uh, we try to get the people from SCRB or SCRC so that how you can uh, yes. propose a uh, proposal to the government also for getting a research funding. So that kind of idea, where to get, how to get and uh, problem solving that normally we discuss on this uh, IP program. Uh, we have been using uh, organizing, I think last 15 years I have been organizing across the country. And certainly will make the difference and also you recommend some of your faculty who have that kind of mindset to our office, let them come and also uh, attend some of the program we organize at Visakhapatnam. And uh, you know, this is a very challenging time. And also, if you want, you can organize a one faculty development program online. I can uh, be online and uh, we can get one more speaker and uh, who can speak uh, on how to uh, uh, the hackathon on uh, uh, the idea generation and idea uh, in in respective uh, uh, area uh, of uh, in, uh, of the sector so that uh, and they will able to know where to get a fund for the research work also because uh, you know uh, department of science and technology government of india has come out with a covid uh, forum any yes. faculty any professor any scientist any individual can contact them, propose the, his idea, and is, uh, is, if his idea is uh, valuable, government of India is ready to support for from the lab scale to the prototype scale and all the financial responsibility of the government and uh, government or the Department of Science and Technology. We'll plan on more uh, FDP, sir, with you mm, okay. next week. Mm. Yeah. I will discuss with you regarding that, sir. Sure, sure, sir. Because capacity building is very, very important, sir. Today, without capacity yes. building, uh, we will not make uh, the difference because we must give the exposure to uh, the uh, faculty so that they themselves can uh, uh, connect and collaborate because that is the need of the hour today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dinesh. Masmati, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yeah, ma'am. Good. Uh, good afternoon. Good, good afternoon to our most honorable keynote speaker, Dr. B.K. Sahu, other dignitaries and participants. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. It's my privilege and great honor to propose a vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who worked really hard to make this workshop happen. A special mention to our respected principal, Dr. R.V. Krishnayagaru, 
for being the catalyst and stimulating us to do our best in organizing this workshop with a deep sense of appreciation we thank our coordinator mr bd subbai garu for his dedication and untiring efforts to make this event a success we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to the esteemed keynote speaker dr bk sahu for such informative and insightful presentation we are very fortunate for getting an opportunity to attend such a splendid and rejuvenating session thank you once again for your precious time and effort we would also like to take this opportunity to thank our director professor n venkatrao garu for his moral support and valuable suggestions we are grateful to our dean of academics professor k venkatrao garu for his valuable guidance furthermore we would like to mention our special thanks to mr v dinesh babu for extending the much needed technical support and his cooperation finally on behalf of chebrolo engineering college we would like to acknowledge our gratitude to all the participants from various institutions across the country for their active participation in the program thank you so much for your unflinching support with this let us conclude this memorable and knowledgeable program stay safe stay healthy thank you very much and uh, and finally all are requested to fill that attendance uh, sheet which was posted in the chat box thank you